Hi everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. It's great to virtually see all of you. I hope you enjoy this online conference and wish we can meet in person. And a big thanks to the ASF for putting a lot of efforts into making this a great experience. Today, Jennifer and I will talk about what we observed in making the company be the top contributor to an open source project. Before diving into the topic, let me introduce myself. Jennifer will introduce herself later. My name is Yu Liu. I'm a committer for Apache Pausa and Apache Trafodian. I'm a content strategist responsible for developing content and managing the community for Pausa. I'm from Stream Native, who is a great enterprise supporter for Pausa. Prior to Stream Native, I worked in HP as a technical writer. Now, let's begin. Today, we will be covering the following topics. The first is three key ways your company can become a top contributor and the examples of how Stream Native did. The second is the benefits of being a top contributor for the open source community and your company. The third is how to get started with open source community. First, let's take a quick look at PowerSign and Stream Native. PowerSign is a cloud native distributed messaging and streaming platform. It was originally created at Yahoo in 2012, open sourced in 2016, and became the top level project in 2018. As the top contributor of Pulsar, Stream Native was founded by the original developers of Pulsar and the Bookkeeper in 2019. It is deeply versed in the messaging and event streaming space and has unmatched experience operating Pulsar in large scale production environments including at both Twitter and Yahoo. Since Pulsar became a top level project in September 2018, Pulsar adoption and community engagement skyrocketed globally. For example, the number of GitHub contributors has grown tenfold over the past two years. In fact, in May, Pausa surpassed the competitor Kafka in the number of monthly active contributors. At the same time, Pausa has been adopted by a growing list of major tech companies to process trillion messages per day, including Splunk, Tencent, Kingsoft Cloud, and more. As you can see, in just a few short years, Stream Native has helped to significantly grow Pulsa in community, code, and content. These are three keys to build an open source winner. Now, let's take a look at the first part. How does Stream Native play an active role in Pulsa's community? Stream Native is the most influential evangelist of Pulsar as it's an event organizer, training instructor, community connector, conference speaker, activity participant, and meetup sponsor. To meet the global demands of the Pulsar community, Stream Native hosted several first ever global events. For example, Pulsar Summit, which is a global conference dedicated to sharing best practice, project updates, and insights across the Pulsar community. 
Cumulatively, these global events draw more than 100 speakers, thousands of attendees, and hundreds of companies from diverse industries. Another first ever event is Pulsar Hackathon with more than 113 signups, which has driven many contributions and generated ideas to enhance Pulsar, to improve diversity and inclusion. StreamNative launched the first ever Pulsar Women program. StreamNative abandoned the program and other activities to get more people involved in the Pulsar world. Apart from the big events, currently, for each month, StreamNative hosts five to 10 Pulsar events, including online webinars and offline meetups worldwide. And you know, it has hosted more than 15 meetups to bring Pulsar users together. To meet the high demand for education from Pulsar users of all levels, StreamNative launched weekly and monthly live streaming interactive training to provide technology updates and hands-on tutorials highlighting various aspects. For example, role-based training, TGIP, Pulsar Office Hour, Introduction to Apache Pulsar 101, Pulsar Project Updates, Pulsar Developer Group, and more. To improve the overall quality of the Pulsar community worldwide, StreamNative has also linked the Pulsar local communities in many countries, such as China, India, and Japan. Moreover, to establish Pulsar reputation and meet leadership in other organizations, StreamNative has been actively participating in global events, such as Apache Conference, Google Developer Group, Cuba Conference, and so on. Cumulatively, Nearly half staff from Stream Native have attended these activities and given more than 16 speeches there. To bring new, excited developers into Pulsar community and the world of open source, Stream Native has been engaging in various open source projects, such as open source promotion plan which is a Chinese alternative to Google Summer of Code, Red Hat, Our Code is Open, and more. Besides, to raise Pulsar visibility and build a positive image, StreamNative has been a sponsor for various meetups, such as Flink Forward, QCon, Arc Summit, JD Cloud Conference, and so on. In summary, StreamNative has organized and participated in various global events to build a strong network for Pulsar. It not only bolsters the Pulsar community, drives contributions, but also strengthens cooperation with other communities creates a positive image for Pulsar and more. In addition to making Pulsar a large, highly engaged and global user community, StreamNative has been playing a key role in managing Pulsar governance in the code development. StreamNative has built leadership in Pulsar code development for these two aspects, Pulsar core and Pulsar ecosystem. As a core developers of Pulsar, StreamNative team includes a number of Pulsar PMC members, committers, and contributors. 
We are deeply engaged in the Pulsa development and exert an influence over how the Pulsa develops, coupled with maintaining primacy over the roadmap. Welcome members of the community to contribute at ensuring all cooperation works toward a well-planned product milestone. For example, for the previous major release, Pulsa 2.8, StreamNative has added various major features and enhancements, such as transactions, exclusive producer, package management API, and more, which enable new use cases and help streamline Pulsar adoption and operation. To build a robust ecosystem around Pulsar, StreamNative launched a hub. It's an app store for developing event streaming applications and provides dozens of plugins and integrations, including various protocol handler, connectors, offloaders, and more to allow developers leverage Pulsar's powerful messaging and streaming ecosystem. For example, the protocol handler API further reduces the overhead of adopting Pulsar for building messaging and streaming applications and allows developers to extend the Pulsar capabilities to other messaging domains by leveraging all the benefits provided by Pulsar architecture. This resulted in major collaborations between Pulsar and other industrial leaders to develop a popular protocol handler, including Kafka on Pulsar, AMQP on Pulsar, MQTT on Pulsar, and more. Taking Kafka on Pulsar as an example, companies including Tencent, Beagle, and more have deployed Kafka on Pulsar at an internet scale to migrate their existing Kafka applications to Pulsar without modifying a single line of code, which significantly helps Pulsar continue to evolve and be adopted by a broader user base. Stream Native also has been actively working with other communities on integrating Pulsar with other influential data systems for easy usage. For example, it has been working closely with the Flink, Spark, and the trainer communities on developing connectors, which enable users to use Flink, Spark, and the trainer to process events in Pulsar. StreamNative also cooperates with Skywalking to develop a plugin that allows users to trace Pulsar messages using Skywalking. These resources not only accelerate the growth of Pulsar's ecosystem, but also strengthen the collaboration between various industrial leading technologies. These are just a few examples of a large collection of interactions done by StreamNative. And it is contributing more and will never stop the pace. In summary, StreamNative has built the leadership in the Pulsar code development. It not only guides overall direction, contributes major features, but also builds a diverse ecosystem, enables new new York cases for Pulsar and more. In addition to taking a lead in Pulsar community and technology, StreamNative has also given the same care to Pulsar contents and augmented the Pulsar's growing knowledge base with the expansion of all resources. These resources include, but not limited to reports, white papers, docs, success stories, blogs, books, podcasts, and more. 
Stream Knitting has conducted the first ever Parser Youth Survey. Based on the data collected from the survey, it published several Parser annual reports, which reveal Parser's accelerating rate of global adoption. Detail how organizations are leveraging Parser to build real-time streaming applications and highlight key features on Pulsar's product roadmap. For each month and week, Stream Native publishes reports to keep users updated with Pulsar progress and news. When the Pulsar community hit major milestones, Stream Native celebrates these events with reports and activities to improve Pulsar cohesiveness. As a backbone of Pulsar contents, Stream Native helps align the official Pulsar user guides with code for each release, which makes Pulsar more accessible to users. As Pulsar adoption has largely been driven by the marketers, increased demand for real-time data-enabled technologies. Stream Native provides plenty of success stories across the internet, IoT, and financial industries. These significant enterprise-level success stories illustrate the process ability to handle mission-critical applications. Moreover, Stream Native also has published more than 200 high quality tech blogs and white papers to share the best practice, project updates, and insights of Pulsar. Besides, Stream Native also educates and engages users with various books and podcasts to drive high-value leads and help make decisions. Stream Native is always committed to open source. Beyond that, it also provides enterprise-ready deployment of Pulsar that enhance Pulsar's elasticity, easy of operations, and resiliency with several offerings, including Stream Native Cloud, and Stream Native Platform to help you deploy Pulsar in production in any environment easily and build your own Pulsar service quickly. Whether you are an Azure development team that needs to get up and running Pulsar quickly, or a central infrastructure team that is responsible for enabling your engineer team to build messaging and streaming applications. Stream native products may be the right fit for you. So from the content perspective, Stream native not only augments Pulsar's knowledge base, improves cohesiveness, but also helps users make decisions, increase user stickiness for Pulsar, and more. In summary, Stream Native is not just a consumer of open source. It's the top contributor and great supporter for Pulsar. Stream Native has taken much time and hard work to build leadership in the Pulsar community, code, and content. Note that it is in France, not control. It is leading, not hurting. In this way, Stream Native has reinforced the value of collaboration in a shared software development environment and helped achieve great milestones for the Pulsar community. So far, you know how Stream Native works effectively with Pulsar. And now I'm handing over to Jennifer. She will explain about the benefits and more. Thanks. Hello, everyone. I'm Jennifer Huang, a content strategist from Stream Native. I'm also a Patreon Pulsar PMC and committer. Today, I will introduce the benefits and how to get started to be the top contributor. 
I will introduce the benefit to the company and community. First, let's have a look at the components of open source community. As you can see the, in this pyramid, in our community, there are users, contributors, committers, and PMC, and all those different roles can all make different kinds of contributions. Just like as we had introduced in her talk, whatever your role is, you can make contributions in events, code, and content. You can bring benefits to the community diversity, product development, and content development. The company make contributions to the community. It will also bring benefit to the company growth. It will help the company grow in brand identity and awareness, in company skill and capacity, and also in users and customers. First, let's look at the brand identity and awareness. As you make more and more contributions to the community, more and more people will get to know your company and what you are doing. So your company identity and awareness will grow. Also, when there are more people in the community, there are more users in the community, so you will have more requirements and more business, so your company size and skill will also increase accordingly. So since as your business grow, your company capacity will also grow. The last is users and customers. In 2019, we have about 40 users. In 2020, we have about 100 users. And this year, we have more than 500 users. Because we made more contribution to the community, and more and more users will recognize and acknowledge our advertise and technologies. So they believe our products and our services. They would pay for our product and our service. So that's why our users and customers also grow. That's a benefit to our company. And then let's have a look how to get started to be the top contributor. First, I will introduce some principles of the community and how diverse our community is. And then you can get started to be top contributor, whether as an individual or as a company. So what are the principles? Just as the Apache Software Foundation advocates, community or code. So you want in our Apache Posa community, except the code, there are a lot of different events like Posa Meet, Meetup, Training, Hackathon. So you can attend those different kinds of events. You can also be a speaker of the events and just be part of it. Except this, there are a lot of different content like user doc, success story, blog, white paper, book, podcast, and different things. If you can make design to the website, that's great. So you can see that there are a lot of things to be done in the community. So the community is also a diverse community. Whether you are a user, developer, writer, or advocate, if you want to make contribution, you always can do that. Just take action. Next, I will introduce how to get started to be the top contributor as individual. So no matter whatever your role is, you can make contribution to the whatever your role is, you can make contribution to the whole community. Just be curious. Be curious about what a passion poster is, what open source community is, how to make contribution and how to make good contribution, and find issues. If you are curious about those things, you will definitely find some issues. When you find the issue, you can do some research and make full use of the search functionalities. Almost everything happens in our main list. And you can find information in our main list, GitHub, Slack, widgets, or some open forums. So when you do some research, you will definitely find some answer. So you have issue, you have answer, why not fix it? 
So just be kind to solve the problems you have found. Just submit your first request and ask approval from some creators and try to get it approved, merged. The great job! You will become the contributor of the Apache Ponsa community. So except this, there are also some open source projects that you can take participate in, like Google Summer of Code Open Source Promotion Plan. Just take the opportunity and be part of it. So whether organizing events writing codes or making contribution to content. Just be active, be active continuously in the community, and then you will run fast to be the top contributor. After introduce how to be the top contributor as individual, let's have a look at how to be the top open source contributor company. There are some general principles that you can take as reference. First, be open mind. Because it's a diverse community, there are a lot of different contributors, different contributions, and different characteristics. You just should be open mind and welcome all of the different things. Just let it happen and check whether it brings benefit to the community. Welcome every contributors. Next, you should be transparent. If you have some guidelines, rules, principles, or some others, just publish it on the website so everyone can have a look at it and just know it and follow it. So this way, the community will run better and better. The most important thing is be supportive. You should support your own employees to be the contributor of the community. You should also encourage some community members to make contribution to the community. You should do different things to support them, and then you will attract a lot of contributors, and then your company will be the top open source contributor company. You see, that's easy, quite simple, just to do this, yeah, take some action. That's all my talk. If you have any question, feel free to discuss it here. I also include our Apache Posa and Sumnitio widget official account. If you are interested in this, just scan and follow us. Thank you.